Hey guys, so today I want to give my honest review on Soul Worker. I played a good amount this week, I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts and uh, of course see what you guys think too. Um, so first thing we'll kind of go over is the cons. Uh, some of the biggest cons, I know this game is in open beta, but it does have a lot of buds and uh, it's very laggy at times. Uh, even had a bud where like character select, it'll, at least for me, um, it'll like show that your characters are not there, like they're deleted. And the first time it did this, I thought I accidentally deleted my character and I was like freaking out. And then I re-logged and then my characters popped up again. So it's kind of a weird bug. I don't know if any uh, anyone else had that bug, but I mean it's not a very good bug to have because you might be like me and think that you guys need to delete your characters. So there are a lot of bugs in the game. Uh, also it's very laggy at times, of course, because I think the servers and it's open beta and all that. Um, so of course it's not uh, polished at all, um, but I mean you could kind of just say hey it's an open beta so of course it's going to have issues. Uh, but that is a con, uh, whether, you know, it's an open bit or not. Uh, another issue, I mean, it's completely instant. So basically you just have like zones. So you have a, like a home zone where there's other players and you can like buy items and stuff like that. And then basically you just go through a portal and, uh, you just fight all these monsters and you fight a final boss at the end. Uh, so it's very instant, which in my opinion can get pretty boring after a couple hours. Um, after like two, three hours of just doing these instant, uh, fights with all these, uh, mobs and stuff. I got kind of repetitive and honestly I got kind of bored. Uh, so that's kind of an issue I would say. It definitely kind of designs the game to be something that you only play like an hour or two at a time. Uh, another thing I really hate, I don't know exactly what it's called, I think it's called uh, stamina or whatever. Uh, but basically there's this thing like a stamina system where it's truly dumb as hell like basically after you use all your stamina, like you use stamina when you do like uh, zones and stuff like that. Uh, once you get to the cap of your stamina you have to wait like a full like 12 hours or some crazy stuff like that and I think that's just like really dumb why would they limit you from just playing the game uh which to me kind of just tells me that they really don't expect you to play the game more than like two hours like I said because the developers probably think that is boring for them for even them so that's a really weird system and I just feel like why why limit your players from playing the game like that doesn't really make sense uh but that is there so once your stamina is up you just have to stop playing and just wait which I just, I just don't understand that. But um, next thing, uh, the combat, this is not a complete con because the combat is really great. It'll be in my pro section too. Uh, but one thing about the combat I didn't like was at times I felt a little clunky. And the reason why is maybe it's just because I'm spoiled by Blade and Soul. But uh, when you use like auto tats, at least for the, the gun class, I forgot the name, but the guy with the guns. Uh, when you use the auto tats, it locks your character in place. And in Blade and Soul, you're able to just auto attack and move around freely. I really didn't like every time I auto attacked, I couldn't move my character like left or right or anything. And it made it kind of clunky when I was like trying to like fight. So uh, I really didn't like that. Um, but you know, it's not, it's not really a big deal, but it made it just feel kind of clunky in my opinion. Um, another thing, this isn't really a con, but I just found it really weird uh, how they like set up this game. Like they didn't even really announce it. Like no one even really knew that this game even came out. The only reason why I knew is because there's a YouTube video on my feed announcing that it was on Steam. And it wasn't even from the company, it was just from a gaming YouTuber. Um, so it's really weird how they had zero promotion for this game. Uh, maybe they just felt like the game's going to flop, but I believe it has like 3K, at least like 3K players on it right now. So it's pretty decent. Uh, it is free to play. Um, but overall, uh, just a really weird setup how they marketed the game. They really didn't market it at all. Um, overall, that's kind of the main cons. Uh, enough kind of dogging the game. We should go over some of the pros. So first thing is it's free to play. So that's uh, usually always a pro, um, depending on your opinion. Some people say free to play games, you know, kind of are bad, but whatever. Uh, it's free to play and, you know, everyone can play. You don't have to spend a dime, uh, which in my opinion is a pro because, I mean, it's just nice to have free games. Uh, another thing is, I know this wasn't in, in the cons, but some of the combat is a pro, uh, mainly because a lot of the moves are uh, really satisfying. And also they have really great effects. Like it's kind of satisfying to use like combos and stuff. Um, so even though it was a little clucky at points, it still feels really great to play. And I see why, you know, the combat's kind of the main draw. Uh, another thing, uh, it's a pro for me because I love anime. Uh, it might be a con for people who hate anime, but it's very anime heavily, uh, like, inspired. Uh, just the art style, the looks, everything feels like anime. It feels like you're in an anime. You're playing an anime. Um, so I love anime, so I really enjoy it. It's a pro for me. Uh, obviously, if you hate animes, you're really going to hate this game. Uh, but overall... It's just, in my opinion, this is a great secondary game to play. Um, it's one of those games where you have your main game. Let's say your main game is 
freaking World of Warcraft. That's your main game. And then when you're tired of World of Warcraft, you can log on to Soul Worker for, you know, maybe an hour or two and just, you know, brainlessly kill some mobs and just have some fun and then log off. Uh, I don't see myself spending any money on this game or anything like that, but it's just, it's just a really great secondary game to play. Uh, overall, it does have some pros, but it has a lot of cons too. Uh, hopefully they fit some of the like disconnect issues and stuff like that uh, because it is an open beta. But yeah, overall, great, solid, free-to-play game, but uh, I don't think it's going to be really anyone's main game or anything like that. Uh, those are my thoughts, my little mini review on the game. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and thank you guys for